Hey everybody, so today I wanted to show you how to take a flash drive and put the Ubuntu installer on it. And that way you can take any computer that you want and you can install Ubuntu on it. Now I'm using a USB 3.0 flash drive because this works with the vast majority of computers out there. Now if your computer happens to have USB-C, you would need to get one of those flash drives. But you'd also need to make sure the computer you want to install it on has USB-C. But today I'm going to make it with USB 3.0. So in order for me to get started, I'm going to go over to my other computer, which is just the Windows that I use on a daily basis. And I'm going to put that flash drive in and then we're going to format the flash drive and then we're going to put the Ubuntu installer on there. So let's go over to the computer. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install the flash drive in the USB slot. Now, the flash drive, yeah, it wants me to go ahead and format it because it was not actually made for Windows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to cancel because I'm going to delete all the partitions that are on it. Now, you can do the same thing, but make sure you don't need the information that's on your flash drive because once you do this, the information is gone. So I'm going to hit cancel and then I'm going to go down here to the windows start button and I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on disk management. Now when I get here, you'll see there's my main hard drive or I should say solid state drive and then here's my flash drive. So I'm going to right click on this partition and I'm going to hit delete volume and I'm going to click yes, I don't want any of the information. And then I'm going to right click on the EFI. Now I don't believe it's going to let me format or delete. Yes, it won't. It won't let me get rid of that EFI. But I'm going to show you how we can get rid of it. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on start, type in command, and then you're going to right click on command prompt and t tell it to run as administrator. And then click yes if it asks, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Now here, we're going to type in disk part, and then I'm going to type list disk, and there you go. There's disk zero and disk one. I want disk number one, so I'm going to type select disk one, and then I'm going to type list partition, and there you go. You can see there's that one partition that didn't want to delete. So what we're going to do is we're going to select that partition. Okay, now it's selected. And I'm going to type delete partition override. Now you can try delete partition dash force, but that may or may not work. But the delete partition override will. So there you go. See, it deleted that partition that it didn't want to be deleted but now it is and now we're just going to type exit and if I close the command prompt and come back over here look now I have a full unallocated 28.65 gigabytes free so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a simple volume on it and I'm going to click next I'm going to use the whole space and click next and now I'm just going to make it the F drive and I'm going to leave all the defaults I'll just even leave it called new volume because it's going to end up formatting it anyway. And then I'm going to click finish. And then just a second, it's going to finish formatting it. And there you go. Now it's ready for us to use. So I'm going to close the disk management. I'm going to go to Microsoft Edge. And again, you can use anything you want to. You can use Edge, you can use Chrome, you can use Firefox. You can use Safari, Opera, it doesn't matter. Whatever browser you want to use, we're just going to go on to the internet. And then I am I like to go to DuckDuckGo, but you can use anything you want. You can use Yahoo, you can use Bing, Google, doesn't matter. Just use one of the search providers. And then you want to go and search for Download Ubuntu. And if you'll notice, it's the very first result, Get Ubuntu. So I'm just going to click on it. And then it wants to know about my tracking settings. So I'm just going to say manage, scroll to the bottom and hit save because it just does the essential ones. And then I'm going to download the Ubuntu desktop. Now, 
it wants to know, well, what version do you want? Do you want the long-term support or do you want the regular one? I'm going to go ahead and choose the 23.10 just because I want to have the newest version that they currently have out. And if you want to, you can also get the long-term support version. It would be version 22, um, but I wanted to go ahead and get version 23. Now, that's going to take just a couple of minutes for it to finish downloading. So, in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to download another program. So, we're going to open up another tab, and then we're going to go back to DuckDuckGo. And I'm going to search for U, Unit Bootin. Okay, so this is a free open source software that lets me create a live USB drive. So I'm going to click on it, and there it is. You can choose if you want it for Windows, Linux, or Mac. So I'm going to download the Windows version, and it downloaded it also. And there it is. So now, as soon as it finishes, I'm going to go ahead and open that, and it's probably got an installer, so we'll go ahead and install that program. Now, if you have trouble where it doesn't want to open, just go to the folder, and then you can just run it from there. So I'm going to run as administrator, and then I'm going to click yes, if it asks you if it can make changes. Now here, there's the program already running, so we're just waiting on that ISO. But if you'll notice, it's already got the USB drive, which is the F drive. I just have to plug in, and you can even select the distribution, and it'll download it for you, but I'm going to select an ISO because I'm downloading it right now. So we'll give it just a couple more minutes, and once that finishes, we'll continue to make that flash drive. So I'll be right back. Okay, so the file just finished downloading. So now, over here, I'm going to click on the three little dots, and then I'm going to go to my downloads, and there it is. I'm going to select the Ubuntu right there, and then I'm going to click open. And then all I have to do, it makes it super easy. I just click OK. And then it's going to extract everything. It's going to put it on that flash drive, and then it's going to make it bootable so that I can boot this computer and put Ubuntu on that computer. So let's give it just a few minutes, we'll let it finish, and then we'll go ahead and I'll test it out to make sure it works. Okay, great. So it just finished making the bootable flash drive installer for Ubuntu version 23. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the program, and I'm going to close all these different windows and tabs that I have open and then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click on the little USB icon and I'm going to eject that flash drive. Okay, now it says I can eject it so I'm going to take it out and so now I have a Ubuntu 23 installer flash drive. So I'm going to take this computer and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn it around for you all and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so I got the computer turned around. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the flash drive in because the computer is not turned on at the moment. And I'm going to go ahead and press the power key and then I'm going to start pressing the F12 key because this will give me my boot options. And it's preparing my boot options now. So in just a second, yes, I can go in here and I can select the UEFI USB. So I'm going to go and I'm going to select it, and that should bring up, yes, try or install Ubuntu. So the flash drive does work, and I can install Ubuntu on this computer. So that's going to be incredibly helpful for me, because I want to have Ubuntu on this computer. So I hope that was helpful for you all. If you do have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. I will be more than happy to get back with you about that. And if there's a video that you would like for me to create, please let me know that below in the comments as well. And as always, because y'all do such a great job, if you can, please hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like this for you all. 
I really appreciate you all. Hope you have a great day. God bless. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.